What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro. Welcome back to another video. First of all, I want to give a huge thanks to Steven for putting me on this channel so I can show you guys some really cool tips and tricks on how to start a successful YouTube channel. I post tutorials from Final Cut Pro 10 to Photoshop to different type of stuff. So if you guys want to check me out, uh, he will put a link in the description of this video so you guys can subscribe and like and do whatever you guys want. But let's go ahead and get started with the video. What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks on how to create a successful YouTube channel. So if you're barely starting out and you have no clue where to start, this video is just for you. So in my opinion is to choose a name that you're going to stick with because you might change it, you know, later on. So this is the reason why you want to stick with the name. So think a lot about the name that you're going to be choosing, okay? And you want this to be memorable and easy to read and understand. And it has to relate to your video, you know, the type of content you're going to be providing your subscribers with. The next one is the type of content, like I just said. You want to base your channel on a certain category. So if you're going to be uploading gaming content, stick with gaming content. If you're going to be making tutorials like I do, I usually stick with tutorials, but I kind of switch it up so you guys don't get bored all the time, of course. So that's why I switch programs and stuff like that. So that works as well. If you're going to be doing beauty channels, because I see a lot of beauty channels, stick with um, beauty type of uh, videos. You want the audience to come back and visit your channel for that one specific type of category. In this case, beauty channel, right? You do all this type of makeup stuff, uh, tutorials and stuff like that. Or if you're a comedian, you know, stick to funny videos or entertainment. You know, you don't want to mix everything. They want to go back to your channel because they like what you provide. You know, in this case for me, it's tutorials, right? So sometimes I like to switch it up and I don't keep uploading the same type of content because it does get boring and at times it's just you want to watch something else. Again, it's good to switch it up a bit but not upload, you know, the same thing over and over and over again because again, it can be a little bit repetitive but if you're gaming, it's going to come easy to you because you could easily upload about anything covering games and stuff like that. The next one is you want to upload quality videos. You want to take time to, you know, edit your videos and make it really good. For me, in this case, it's, you know, it's quality over quantity and it doesn't matter how many videos you put out because you could put out so many videos and you won't get views or nobody, you know, nobody will watch your videos and it's just a waste of time. So in my opinion, I like to make quality videos and take time with the actual editing part and making good thumbnails and titles, you know, which I'll explain in a little bit. You know, you want to make your videos quality, you know, don't just upload videos like five videos a day because people will see that you're trying to be you know an overachiever I guess and they're gonna notice that and it's gonna be very annoying to your subscribers so don't upload a lot of content in a day or in a week you can you know if you put in the time and effort to make it good now I get this question a lot and the question is do you have to invest a lot of money to make really good videos and the answer to that is no you could start off with anything you know you could start with your iPhone but make sure oh my gosh make sure you film with landscape please do not film in portrait mode that's the most annoying thing on YouTube. If you're going to be making videos and the only thing you have is your iPhone or your camera, do that. You know, you could start small and then once you upload videos and get more known, you know, you've grown and your quality, your type of quality of your videos are improving and you're getting more subscribers and stuff like that. Then it's good to invest some money into making your videos a little bit better. In this case, I invested money into getting a better microphone, a pop filter, a boom arm. A boom arm is really a luxury item. You don't need a boom arm. But I did so I can just move it and push it out of the way when I don't need it. So that's that, okay? You don't have to have the best equipment. You can start with anything and once you stick to that, I promise you guys, you will do better on the long run. The next one is you want to interact and engage with the community because if you don't and you just ignore your subscribers, you're not going to get that, that respect. So you want to interact with the community, but if you ignore them completely, then you're just doing yourself harm because you want to grow, right? You want to keep your subscribers coming back. You know, you want to interact and reply to your subscribers if you want to in my opinion I do because they mean a lot to me the next one is be creative you want to be creative don't copy others now this is really different you know this, this is another video that covers you know copying other youtubers and stuff you want to be creative and make your own type of stuff okay you want to have good thumbnails and have good titles so make sure your, your thumbnails are, are pretty good and your titles are good as well so don't mislead the audience to something they're not willing to watch and there is gonna be haters okay oh I cannot stress this enough haters are literally motivators they they give you constructive criticism and that's what I like you know I like uh, I like criticism I want to know what I'm doing wrong so I can improve on myself and you gotta ignore the hater 
haters, there's gonna be a certain point in time where you're gonna get haters. You have to ignore them, you know? You can't let one person just shut your whole entire YouTube career, I guess. Because, you know, you have to keep doing what you like to do. In this case, for me, it's YouTube. And I love to make videos because it's fun and exciting and you get to engage with the community and people, you know? That's, that's for me, at least. I don't care about haters. Hate all you want, I don't care. The next one is don't spam or ask for subs. Don't go uh, on certain YouTube channels and be like, hey, subscribe to me. I mean, come on, you know, if you're barely starting out, it's okay, you know, you could, you know, say it once in a while, but not all the time. If you do it all the time, it gets annoying. So please don't spam or leave annoying comments on every video. That's the most annoying thing. People will see that and they won't subscribe to you because you're doing that, okay? Money comes last. Don't expect to make YouTube videos for the money because if you do, people will see that and you're gonna lose motivation. It's just bad. So don't have that mindset of, hey, I'm gonna make a video, I'm gonna get a ton of cash. No, you won't. <laughs> you won't, okay? So don't think like that. Do it because you love to do it. In this case, I love to do YouTube videos ever since I was 12 or 11, I think. Yeah, it, it, four years ago, four, four and a half years now that I've been on YouTube and it's been a while. And the next one is join a network. So if you're going to be partnering with networks, I would highly suggest you partner with a network if you're going to be uploading gaming content. Do not upload gaming content if you're not partnered with the network because you're going to risk getting a copyright strike and that's bad. Okay, I've been there and it sucks. So don't upload gaming content if you're not really partnered with the network because you could risk getting your music copyrighted and stuff like that so it's not good. Make sure you have your own content. This content that you were seeing here is not mine. I post the link to the creator in the description so you guys can check him out. He actually made this video and I'm using his footage because it's free to use gameplay so why not. So that's what I used and again so join a network if you're gonna be making gaming gaming content or anything you know. I am partnered with Curse. It's a gaming network. They partnered me because of the quality of my content and it's pretty good. It's not bad in my opinion. I mean you can tell me what I need to improve and I'd be glad to hear what you guys have to say. And then last but not least I cannot stress this enough is to be yourself. Guys, you have to be yourself and be creative. Have fun with making YouTube videos. The true reason why is because you love to make YouTube videos, you like to engage with the community, and you love to do it because it's a passion, you know? For me, it's a hobby. I love to do it. It's just so fun to make videos. By the way, you have to work your ass off to do this. This is not easy, okay? I will promise you that it's not easy. People will say that YouTubers have an easy way of going about their jobs and making videos because it's so easy. They get to stay at home and enjoy life. It, part of that is true but you have to put in so much time to edit and put all the video together because if you don't the video is gonna turn out bad you know the more time you spend editing the better it's gonna come out I can t I can promise you that okay so just keep that in mind you know again be yourself have fun with this last but not least you will learn from your mistakes okay I have learned from my mistakes it sucks okay you move on once you move on you'll learn that that didn't work you know you you're doing other things and eventually you're a little bit more successful ignore the haters because they suck so if you're thinking of starting a channel go for it nobody's stopping you you know it's up to you but again it is gonna take a lot of time out of your day so just keep that in mind oh I forgot to mention that you have to keep a schedule to know when you're gonna be putting out videos because if you don't people won't know when you're gonna be opening a video mine is every week but I, I don't say specifically on what day so that's the reason I say every week usually my videos come between Monday and Friday obviously right so I don't really post on Sundays or on Saturdays but in some occasions I will other than that you just gotta have fun you know learn from your mistakes and ignore haters because they're always gonna be there trust me and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys hope you guys found this video helpful you could do whatever you want you could leave a like you could leave a dislike I don't care that's it for this video I will see you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy your day